Hello, Castle of Louis de Lombard fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today is going to be a bit of a lighthearted show. Uh, I want to talk about characters on a keyboard that we use just about every day, and some we don't use every day, uh, but that we either call the wrong thing or we don't even know what to call it. So call it a bit of uh, nerd trivia, if you will. The first character I want to talk about is this one here, the number sign, uh, otherwise known as the pound sign, uh, the hashtag, ugh, it existed long before Twitter, I assure you. The proper name for this character is the Octothorpe. Now, I'm not going to get into the history of all of these and, and you know, the, the, the roots of where these characters came from, uh, but that's, that's the official name of that character is the Octothorpe. <clears throat> the next one that I want to talk about is one that's not often used. Uh, it sits above the number six uh, on your number row, and it's that kind of up arrow looking thing. Uh, now, in general terms, it's referred to as a carrot, but the correct term for that up arrow thing is a circumflex. Hey, I didn't, I, I didn't come up with this stuff. I'm just, I'm just parroting. Another one that we see a lot of the time is the and symbol. You know, that kind of backward uh, uh, eight looking kind of thing. This is known as an ampersand. Why? I don't know. You'll have to ask the person who invented it. But it's called the ampersand. Now we get to one that is my, uh, well, it's kind of a pet peeve of mine. And it's the, the star character that sits above the number eight. Uh, we call it the star symbol. We can use it for multiplication uh, in, a, in an equation, but its proper name is asterisk. Many people call it an asterisk, and it just drives people like me crazy. It's an asterisk. If you're going to say it, say it right. It's like people at the bank machine saying, yeah, I'm going to go to this interact system. It's not interact. It's interact. Just saying. Now, the last two kind of go hand in hand. And you might know them as the backslash and the forward slash, and they're not. They're actually called a solidus. And the, the backslash, the one that leans backwards, is a reverse solidus, and the forward one is just a solidus. Want to know the difference between the two? Here's the best way to see the difference between the two. And remember, if you're still unsure, just push someone in between the shoulder blades. Give them a big old shove. Which way did they fall? Forward. That's the forward slash. In the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.